How does the stick with LED lights raise 500,000 on Indiegogo? And will it really help the creativity of your photography at all? These questions and more are going to be answered in this video, so keep watching and find out. Hey there, I'm Terrence, and this is Photography in 123. If you're new to this channel, it's about showing you how to take amazing photos and how to use your camera properly. So subscribe now and hit the bell notification icon to be notified when new videos come out. So to start the story, you might be wondering why somebody wants to have a light stick for photography in the first place. Well, what they're actually using it for is something called light painting. If you've never done light painting, it's actually a ton of fun. What it is, is being in a fairly dark environment where you set your camera on a tripod, have a long exposure, could be a few seconds, could be on bulb mode, so you turn it on, turn it off, and you use a light source to create your image. So it's light that's actually painting the whole scene. The photos could be pretty simple, where you're spelling out a word with a light source, or they could be more complicated where you're creating interesting shapes or highlighting subjects in a cool way. So like the photos you're seeing right here by Evan, you can check out his site down below. He shows you how to do some really cool light painting but he's not the focus of this video. So traditionally people who are getting into light painting for the very first time would typically use a flashlight, very basic flashlight or something similar and they would often use that just to do writing on a photo or maybe to highlight some object. More advanced light painters would actually use attachments for flashlights or other light devices to create more unique light trails. With that they could do quite a bit. Uh, the advanced ones for example like Evan as I showed earlier on he could do some really cool things and a lot of people could do some really cool light painting with those tools, but the Magilite actually brings you to a step further from what we could see here. In my opinion, the Magilite delivers three core benefits. The first one is simple. It seems to be a very well-constructed light and can be attached to a tripod or other sticks to give you a lot more flexibility in terms of what kind of light painting you're gonna do. The second benefit is there's actually a lot of variability you can have in the Magilite. You can change the colors to almost any color you could think of because they are LEDs, so you have a lot of flexibility there. That's a lot better than using a flashlight. And you have control over the brightness of the lights. As well, you can do other things in terms of creating blinking or other kinds of effects with the lights while you're doing the light painting. So that gives you a lot of creativity. But the third one, which is what I like the best and where I think this is really going to help a lot of creative people who want to do light painting, is you can actually upload an image into the device and when you walk across the scene with the device, it's going to change the light pattern continually very quickly to create that image, to paint that image for you. And if you're seeing the images right now that are on the screen as I've been talking about this, you have to be blown away like I am. That is just absolutely incredible. And the best part of it is not only is it fully funded on Indiegogo, so the project is a go, they've actually completed the work and they are now shipping to people who have ordered. This means you can actually get your hands on one now. They're still selling them on Indiegogo. I have the link below, you can check that out. Or you can go to their main website, Photo Gear. I've got the link below as well. If you want to try light painting for the first time without one, just simply use a camera with a long exposure on a tripod and get a flashlight and give it a go. If you want to learn about how to do it really well, I've got a link to Evan's site below as I mentioned. Or if you're really into light painting already and you want to get the Magilite, just go to the Indiegogo site below and order one right now. I hope you liked this video. If you found it useful, hit like, share with friends, subscribe, and I will see you soon.